We are almost going through a highly. Uh, this is another instrument. There are almost 37 instruments. Instruments here, over here, but uh, they are they are kind of uh, devoted to different kind of experiment. But we will go to Heidi for our experiments. So we'll see a lot of uh, things there. So now we are in the cabin of uh, the instrument Heidi, where Abhishek Malte is doing his master thesis in the framework of the Mama's Health project. Heidi is a single crystal diffractometer using neutrons to study structural details, uh, atomic positions, magnetism uh, on uh, nuclear waste. So this instrument is designed for very detailed uh, structure analysis and uh, his task in this framework is to uh, search uh, atomic position especially of uh, oxygens in a compound that uh, is so-called ornillary with uh, oxygen deficiency and also magnetic ordering and T is uh, working on this. It gets the neutrons from the reactor source um, the beam is then guided automatically through this tube, enters the sample over here and scatters there the neutrons in a way that we catch the fingerprint of the sample in this detector here. The specialty of the instrument is that it uses fast neutrons, so-called hot neutrons, so this allows us to cover a large range of basic space and by this get more information to do these very uh, accurate structure data measurements. I heard about Mamasal first time when I was studying in IIT Madras in India uh, because some of my seniors were already been in this Mamasal program so I heard a lot of uh, good things about Mamasal but uh, the thing which attracted me the most uh, was the access to large scale facilities uh, which Mamasal provides uh, so we get access to uh, the top level of instruments, the most uh, uh, costly and most sophisticated instruments, uh, so which are definitely going to help us for our future scientific life. Uh, I spent my first year of myself in uh, University Montpellier too, and uh, as a part of the curriculum, uh, I had to do an internship, and uh, I did this in ESRF and uh, for a couple of weeks I was in ESRF which is another large scale facility like FRM2. We can learn how to do teamwork and uh, we, we definitely learn a lot about science because we discuss with uh, the scientists over there and we come up with all new ideas. You also learn to think how you can think in an alternative ways if something goes wrong in the experiment which is very important for your future scientific life, as I say. So, this was amazing. And the next important part, definitely, uh, was uh, that in our muscle program, the students are from all over the, the world. So, uh, definitely a lot of uh, different cultures, as well as languages, and uh, different, different, different food habits, which I like the most. And uh, this is what there's a lot of differences which are definitely uh, going to help us to develop our personal life as well as social life, I would say. And uh, uh, I can quite uh, sure about that we can live uh, in any part of this world uh, without uh, having a problem now because we already come to all these differences. Within the Mama Self project, this is a very unique possibility to go to uh, this uh, large-scale facility. Yeah. Yeah. Um, here we have more than 30 instruments running, so it's not only this instrument, but also others where you have the chance to learn a lot of methods and scientific um, topics that might be very interesting for you or mm -hmm. for the future. Yeah, definitely. And uh, therefore it's a very good uh, choice to come here to us. And we are also happy because this supports our scientific exchange, mm -hmm. working together with uh, young students and scientists. Thank you. Um, and uh, so we are also very happy uh, to work with you. Thank you very much.